Good evening. evening. Welcome to God's house. Today is Ash Wednesday, and so we begin our season of Lent today. Almost said Advent. (laughs) We begin our season of Lent today, and we will have the imposition of ashes for those who wish to participate in that. Um, And if you have bangs, just a little reminder to help us out with that. Um, uh, And we also begin our midweek Lenten theme, which is, Who Wants Jesus to Die? And today we look at the fact that the Father wants Jesus to die. Um, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We stand and greet each other with the Lord's peace. Peace, the Lord be with you. We begin with our first hymn, hymn 563.
Please stand. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear brothers and sisters of our Lord Jesus Christ, on this day, the church begins a holy season of prayerful and penitential reflection. Our attention is especially directed to the holy sufferings and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. From ancient times, the season of Lent has been kept as a time of special devotion, self-denial, and humble repentance born of a faithful heart that dwells confidently on his word and draws from it life and hope. Let us pray that our dear Father in heaven, for the sake of his beloved Son and in the power of his Holy Spirit, might richly bless this Lenten tide for us so that we may come to Easter with glad hearts and keep the feast in sincerity and truth. O oh Lord, have mercy. O oh Christ, have mercy. O oh Lord, have mercy. O oh Christ, hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy. Be gracious to us, spare us, the Lord. Be gracious to us, help us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Help us, the Lord. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment. Help us, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you to hear us, O Lord. To prosper the preaching of your word, to bless our prayer and meditation, to strengthen and preserve us in the true faith, and to give heart to our sorrow and strength to our repentance. To draw all to yourself, to bless those who are instructed in the faith, to watch over and console the poor, the sick, the distressed, the lonely, the forsaken, the abandoned, and all who stand in our need of prayers, to give abundant blessing to all works of mercy, and to have mercy on us all. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. To turn our hearts to you to turn the hearts of our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to graciously hear our prayers. We you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. O God, you desire not the death of sinners, but rather that they turn from their wickedness and live. We implore you to have compassion on the frailty of our mortal nature, for we acknowledge that we are dust, and to dust we shall return. Mercifully pardon our sins, that we may obtain the promises you have laid up for those who are repentant. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the ashes.
We stand. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart and confess our sins unto God our Father, beseeching him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. O Almighty God, merciful Father, I, a poor, miserable sinner, confess unto you all my sins and iniquities with which I have ever offended you and justly deserved your temporal and eternal punishment. But I am heartily sorry for them and sincerely repent of them. And I pray you of your boundless mercy and for the sake of the holy, innocent, bitter sufferings and death of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to be gracious and merciful to me, a poor sinful being. Upon this, your confession, I, by virtue of my office as a called and ordained servant of the word, announce the grace of God unto all of you. And in the stead and by the command of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. For I know my transgressions. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, you despise nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us new and contrite hearts that lamenting our sin and acknowledging our wretchedness we may receive from you full pardon and forgiveness through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Son is Joel 2. 12 to 19. Yet even now, and rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and he relents over disaster. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a solemn assembly, 
gather the people, consecrate the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, even nursing infants. On the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare your people, O Lord, and make not your heritage a reproach, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord became jealous for his land and had pity on his people. The Lord answered and said to his people, Behold, I am sending you grain, wine, and oil. You will be satisfied, and I will no more make you a reproach among the nations. This is the word of the Lord. Please join together. O come, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne. Verse 10. We implore you on behalf of Christ. Whole time I have listened to you, and in a day of salvation I have.
God's gift of life at creation was destroyed by Satan through sin. And humankind became enemies. Christ was made life restored. Only then could our relationship with the Father be reconciled. As our epistle lesson appointed for this Ash Wednesday declares, we employ sin so that in him we might become the righteousness of God expected The hopes and dreams that Christ had inspired in the lives of people were dashed. Yet, the war is fought successfully on a different plane with an unconventional... ...by death. The death that the Father desires is the ultimate sacrifice that pays and
tithes. Oops, no, we continue. We gather our tithes and our offerings to the Lord. Holy God, mighty Lord, we, your unworthy people, come to you this day acknowledging the great debt we owe for your merciful kindness in giving to us your own Son to be our Savior and Redeemer. In love, he suffered for our sins and died the death that was ours to die, so that he might forgive us of our sins and raise us from death to everlasting life. Receive our thanks and praise for his one all-sufficient sacrifice upon the cross, and keep us in this faith and fear all the days of our lives. Preserve your word, O Lord, against error, and preserve among us the preaching of your word, that we may be nurtured in faith, discern truth from falsehood, and remain steadfast in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Open our hearts to the preaching of your word, that through daily repentance we may be kept in the promise of our baptism 
and in the new life born of water and the Spirit. Give to your church pastors who will serve us faithfully in your name with the means of grace. Raise up many church workers to fulfill the various callings and offices your church has appointed. Bless those preparing for baptism and the catechumens being instructed in your word. Help us to shine with the brightness of Christ's light before the world and be ever ready to give answer to the hope within us. Bestow upon all nations of the world the blessing of peace. End the threat of terrorism and quiet the hearts of those who foster hate and violence. Give to us good and faithful leaders. Especially do we pray for Mr. Trump, our president, and our governor of the state of Missouri, the Congress of these United States, our state legislature, and all those who make, administer, and judge our laws. Lend your aid to the cause of life and its protection from conception to natural end. Bless those in the armed forces who defend us at home and abroad, especially Christopher, Scott, Andrew, Paul, Jay, Gary, Michael, Caleb, Jeff, Jeremy, Joshua, Chance, Cody, Danny, Zane, Alana, Quinn, and Sean. Give us the will and desire to be good and faithful citizens and to pray daily for those in authority over us. Provide for those who suffer man-made or natural disasters and bless relief workers who come to their aid. Bless the fruits of the earth and our stewardship of all its resources for the good and benefit of all people. Bless all honest labor and industry, the arts and music, and all good works for your glory. Be with the sick and those who suffer trouble, want, anguish, peril, or death, especially Kyle, Heather, Pastor Struve, Marge, Pastor Eric Carlson, Sam, Annalise, Aaron, Bill, Charlotte, Marty, Jessica, Claire, Ashley, Pastor Keith Weiss, Diane, Nancy, Rita, Vicar Mark and Dana Renner, Chris, and courage under trial, patience to endure their afflictions without losing heart, and healing according to your will. Grant to us your Holy Spirit that we who come to our Lord's table today may receive the body and blood of Christ in sincere repentance and with confident faith, recognizing Christ's presence in this sacrament and rejoicing in the forgiveness of our sins and the nourishment of our faith. Help us so that what we have received upon our lips we may keep in holy lives and live under Christ in his kingdom here until we receive everlasting life in his presence. Receive our bodies and souls and all our talents and skills. With the tithes and offerings we bring in thanksgiving for all your benefits in Christ. These and all things good and beneficial, we ask you to grant us in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is truly meet, right, and salutary that we should at all times and at all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who overcame the assaults of the devil and gave his life as a ransom for many, that with cleansed hearts we might be prepared joyfully to celebrate the Paschal Feast in sincerity and truth. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying,
Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Oh.
We stand and sing. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Let us pray. We give thanks. You would strengthen us through the same, in faith towards you and in fervent love toward one another. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bless we the Lord.
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. You may be seated for our final hymn. 